Over the course of the next two years, teachers across the state of Tennessee could see a pay raise. This after Governor Bill Lee spoke at his second State of the State address just yesterday. That race include, a raise includes teachers right here in Hamilton County, but everyone thinks that's enough. News Channel 9's Mariah Rock spoke with a former teacher that wants to know why it would take so long to see the money and why not more money. Monday, Governor Bill Lee recommended moving the minimum annual salary for a teacher in Tennessee from 36,000 to 40,000, but that would be over the next two years. Today, I spoke with a former Hamilton County teacher that says this isn't enough. Governor Bill Lee outlined the accomplishments the state of Tennessee has seen since his first state of the state address. Governor Lee wants to set aside 117 million additional dollars for teachers, but the head of Hamilton County's Education Association, Jeanette O'Markell, says that's not enough. I know that Governor Lee cares about education. I, I felt it was a, it's a positive step. I just don't think it went far enough. Since 1982, Jeanette says she's understood the hard work it takes on and off the clock being a teacher, making it difficult with the amount of money offered. I believe that teachers deserve more. I believe our students deserve more. She says the last census number showed that Tennessee is 45th in the nation in what the state invests per student. The states that spend more are achieving more. And hopes that the money will come sooner than the governor suggested. They've been fighting for raises on the local level, too. Last year, Hamilton County only passed teacher bonuses. Education is the foundation of our society. And if we do not have a strong foundation, we are a weak society. The governor also proposed the creation of a K-12 through mental health trust fund program, which would cost $250 million. For News Channel 9, I'm Mariah Rock. In all, the governor wants to spend 600 million new dollars on public education. For more on the state of the state address, go to our website, newschannel9.com.